Hello, this is Roger Simmons coming back to you with another unboxing video. I got a package. Something over on the internet. I don't know what's in the box. I have no idea what's in this package. But I guess me and you are probably gonna find out today. What's in this package? It's, just, it's a small box. I can probably guess what's in this box. It's a small box. Not anything big, not anything big, so not anything big. That doesn't mean it's cheap, but let's just see what's in this box together, shall we? Yeah, I think I got a guess of what's in here. Using my ghetto ass knife, it's probably dull as hell for unboxing out to shit like this. I think I should go and just buy another replacement knife. Just for unboxing shit. Oh no, whoever taped this thing together really put the tape over here. Here. They sure hell want me to show that. They sure as hell want me to rip that shipping label to pieces just to open this thing up. So I'm gonna flip it over. Cut to the tape. I can already tell it's leaking stuff. It's packaging. Packaging is starting to fall at the bottom of it. Ah, yeah, the best packaging stuff is top one. Put, the old, put a bunch of old socks in here to make sure it doesn't bounce a while during the shipping. You can get damaged on shipping. Here, that's what's in the box. You have some packaging. You have some, you have some packaging. You got peanut packaging. You want to know what's in the box? That right here. The box really is. What's in the box really is. A bunch of dual layer DVDRs. A bunch of dual layer DVD 8.5. Why I order these? But because for some odd reason you don't find the 4.7 DVDRs. I don't know why. I don't know why they. I don't know why when they make DVDRs you're going to find the 4.7 DVDRs in the stores. If you want the dual layer DVDRs, you can. You have to order them online, and for some odd reason, when you buy brand new computers, they come with a DVD writer. They don't come with a blue. They don't come with a Blu-ray writer or Blu-ray R's. I don't know for some odd reason, but you want Blu-ray R's or even 4K or blank 4K discs. You have to order them offline. This and this to get a 4K burner, a 4K, a 4K burner or a Blu-ray burner to burn, uh, burn Blu-ray R's. You have to order that online. And that shit gets expensive. I don't know why it is on package. I don't know why most brand new computers come with a brand new, brand new Blu-ray R. Most computers I buy brand new, hell, come with brand new, brand new DVD R over here. Some more of this. Yeah, he packaged me some more of this. Yeah, like I said, these better not be 4.7s. Some more 4.7s. That looks like the way these packages Kodak logo them. That's my favorite. That's my favorite thing here. A receipt, which I'm not going to show you for pretty obvious reasons. And I don't think there's much else in the box. Yeah, I think that's it. I will never understand why you can't just walk into the storefront and just buy 8.5, 8.5 DVD or dual layer discs. I would never understand that. I've been the best by Target and all the stores and you only carry the 4.7s. I would never understand why it's some stupid ass market decision to only sell you the 4.7s. Well, you have to order them online to get them. And it seems I'm making a mess. You know what I mean? I'm not gonna go into it. I'm not going to spend the entire video ranting about that, but I obviously ordered these because I want to burn something. I want to burn something to a to a four point to a four point to an eight point. I want to burn something to an eight point five DVD-R. What am I gonna burn? It's a secret. I mean, I might burn a cigarette. Burn a cigarette. But somebody should start marketing these in stores. Until next time, later.